Hey guys, I'm ready to do uh, some more of my, I'm calling them my stash videos, but actually it's more of an informative video on um, patterns that I have that um, some of you might be interested in, in picking up out there. Um, some I'm sure are some discontinued, but I'm sure they probably uh, can get them on eBay. I know that whenever I was looking for patterns that were discontinued, that's usually where I go. Um, and then also on Facebook, there's a lot of de-stashing groups out there and cross-stitch exchange group groups out there that uh, have been really wonderful. Um, and you just tell them what you want, what you're interested in, and they see what they've got. If they've got something you're interested in and you just make a clean swap, the only thing you guys have to pay for is your postage. But uh, oh, that was pretty cool. This is a quick whip. Um, I haven't worked on it at all um, of a portrait I'm doing for a friend uh, and the reason for that I haven't worked on it is because I'm not too keen on working on a black background um, I like doing it only when it's pure daylight and right now I don't know if you can tell it's kind of overcast it was beautifully sunny not 10 minutes ago then all of a sudden it just I mean literally went away so I had to put my my alt light on Anyway, didn't want to, wasn't going to show you my whips, but of course you recognize Noah's sub, and one day I'll get to working on that again. I'm doing it on 11 count, which is the only thing I've ever done on 11 count, and the holes are so huge. Anyway, okay, so, um, back to, I'm trying to adjust my hand here, so the cord doesn't get in the way. Okay. So, our next grouping is Storybook Collection uh, by Graphworks International. Graphworks International. This one is called At Play with Friends. And Graphworks International Incorporated. It is BK34. And there's a castle in the background. And it looks like a princess or a maiden. And, of course, she's got a bunny. And there's some all different types of bunnies. And then be a, like a, a creek bed and lots of beautiful flowers. And there's sheep in the background. But I like that one. That's very, very pretty, very intricate. Um, the next one in that group is called Morning at Swan Lake. This is number BK33. And... Oh, it's even got baby swans. You don't get to see, you don't see that very often. Usually, you see like the two, the two main swans in the in the the lake or the river or whatever. And then, but this one has little tiny babies. I never noticed that before. Again, Graphworks International Incorporated. Um, and then it's got the weeping willows in the background and some some lilies. And she's sitting in a boat. But I like that one. That one's really really pretty. But that's from the storybook collection as well. Let's see how these are set up. Okay, it's a fold out. Nice. Uh, okay, this is a different company. This one is called TW Design Works. This is called the Princess and the Dragon. Um, fantasy number three, accompanied by her pet dragon, is a beautiful princess gathering wildflowers. This comes out of... Montoursville, Pennsylvania. And apparently you can order it at www.twdesignworks.com. This was done in 2003. But, um, let's see, there she is there. And then the dragon comes all the way around and it shows the castle in the background. And I like the, the border on that. It's really nice, too. This is in a plastic bag. It's got a separate... Looks like it's got a separate sheet for the um, the uh, oh, the back stitching on it. There's a little bit of back stitching. Okay, so that's all of that. Uh, okay, the next one we got is our Ziggy collection. Mm, some of you may remember Ziggy. I don't know if he's still out or not. Um, Ziggy was created by Tom Wilson in 1983 is when this was done. I know he was done in the 70s, but I think this one was done in 73. No, I'm sorry, 83. It is book number 5090 um, by 
oh, designer Gloria and Pat. Oh, how awesome. I didn't know Gloria and Pat did these. Oh my gosh, wasn't even thinking. Uh, adapted for Paragon Needlecraft. So, let's see. This is going to have several in it. Let's see if it's... Okay, here we go. Oh, how cute. I didn't realize I had this. See, it helps to go through your stash because you don't realize what you have. Oh, got some great Christmas ones here. It says, here is a mistletoe and holly and everything that's jolly. He's building a snowman. And then you're extra special. That make a great gift tag. And again, this one piece. He's doing ice skating. Sweet dreams. Oh, jolly holidays. And you know, Ziggy usually usually doesn't have all these cheery sayings. He's kind of like always kind of depressed. God bless us, everyone. Got a little kitty cat, a doggy, and a duck, and I guess a frog, some other critters. Uh, friends, friends like you are the nicest gift of all. It's Christmas and joy. I say Christmas 1983. You could adapt that, of course. It looks like he got Snoopy's tree. Uh -huh. But how cute. And here's one Christmas is love. That's pretty cool because, like I said, Ziggy is usually depressing. He's not always happy. That's a, that's a good book. All right, that's uh, Paragon Needlecraft. Here's another one. Let's see, when was this one? This was 1982. Uh, hope your day is special. Let's see what else he's got. This one is book number 5080. Let's see, this one was 5090. This is 5080. So let's see what we've got in here. Uh, I like it when they have colored pictures on the inside. Oops. Some of these are so small that they have two cross stitches on one page, which is really cool. All right, well, here we go. We're, yeah, we're a little bit more positive on, on these. We've got a happy birthday. It's you and me against the world. And personally, I think we're going to be, we're going to get creamed. Okay, now that's more Ziggy-like. Every good day begins with a little love. Oh, that's cute. And he's feeding the birds. May the bluebird of happiness really lay it on you. Oh, bird droppings. That's funny. Great A student, quiet, genius at work. So those make little great little cards. You expect too much. It's not willpower I need. It's want power <laughs> to eat the Sunday. How funny is that? You and me. Love is the answer. Wonder what the question was. <laughs> know how doesn't do any good unless you know when. Watering his plants. It doesn't pay to live in the past. There's no future in it. And the dog's holding a sign that says onwards. It's time to worry. When you show up for work and find they've removed your in basket oh that's funny have a great tomorrow it looks like today is just a another about shot oh have a great tomorrow it looks like today is just about shot anyway let's see what we got on the back all right I've, I've seen this one before i've done this one love is good for growing things and the little flowers kissing him on top of the head how cute is that Especially for you. Don't call me for anything I can't. Don't call me for anything I can't eat. Okay. At the tone, you'll be late for work. That's funny. Too funny. Who has house phones anymore? Well, I do because I live in the country because my cell phone doesn't get good service out here. Okay, so that's the Ziggy collection. Then we have Hummingbird Flora. This is Black Swan Designs. Um, designed by Karen Weaver and I don't know if you can see this or not it's got a hummingbird here and then a hummingbird up here and then a bunch of flowers and then that's showing it designed on a pillow with some uh, cording around it and then this is showing it in the the frame this is BS-34 hummingbird flora Oh, and on the inside it tells you all the different uh, 
gives you a list of all the different collections that they that they have and the different designers. Okay. And it folds out in patterns on the inside. All right, another black swan. It's called Avatar. It's BS-36. Um, it is a wizard. Oh, that is awesome. Awesome. A wizard riding a dragon through the sky. That is so cool. Oh, the, the glare. The, oh, no, more, more glare. Let's see if I can do it this way without it. No, the plastic's going to make it glare. So, bear with me just a second. And I will take it out of the plastic briefly. So you can get a better, better look at it. Wizard of Wind is the name of this one. Wizard of Wind third wizard in the Enchantress series, designed by Karen Weaver. Alright, there we go. That is nice, and then the picture shows it framed. Pretty cool. Alright. Wizard of Wind, Avatar. Karen Weaver. She does some, some pretty good uh, artwork. So those two were from the Black Swan collection. Having issues putting this back in the back in their packages. All right. Next up we have. Hmm. This is by the the Vermilion Stitchery. Um, looks like out of. Lugana Hills, California. Um, does not say. Let's see, where's the designer? I don't see. Donna Vermilion. Giampa. G I A M P A. The, Marilli the, Verm the Vermilion Stitchery. All rights reserved. Oh, can't talk. Joy and Love Wedding Sampler. That's really nice. I like that. In the detail, it's got it's got like little cherubs faces around the edges. May your two lives be blessed with joy and love, and then of course the names, and then put wedded, and then the date that they were wed. This is chart number two thirty two. Okay. Next we have from the beautiful threads needlework designs. The Black Rocks. It's BTL-1004. They have a scripture underneath. It's from Elizabethton, Tennessee. And they do have a website. It's www.beautifulthreadsneedlework.com Beautifulthreadsneedlework.com all together. Um, but anyway, that's really pretty. That looks like it was adapted from a photograph. Um, looks like the beach called the Black Rocks. Rocky side. That's pretty. Hmm. Alright. Same company. Beautiful Threads Design Work. Uh, excuse me. Beautiful Threads Needlework Designs. I'm a little dyslexic today. This one is called Still Water. Um, this one has a scripture as well. Psalm 30. Oh, excuse me. See? Psalm 23 2. <laughs> He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. So this is called still water. And you can, sorry about the glare. Let me, I can't get rid of it. But it's got like little, um, it's like a little bridge there maybe. And um, some, it's got to be winter time because the, the trees are very bare. And it looks like just a bunch of sticks sticking out of the water. But that's nice. That's BTL-1005. Uh, and last one from the Beautiful Threads Needlework Designs. Hey, I got it out right. This one's called Living Water. John 7, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That looks like something out of my backyard. Um, 
out of the maybe Reliance, Tennessee. That is so beautiful. This is Elizabethtown, Tennessee, where these were were made. But it looks like these were adapted from some ace photographs. They're just beautiful. Um, BTL-1001. And in these packages, um, it comes with this beautiful covered picture of... I can't tell if it's actually a picture of the work already stitched up. But, and then on the inside of the package it has the pages. And then on the back, the list of the DMC numbers. Wow, this takes a lot of colors. Oh, this one has 15 pages. This design was made using software by Ken Davis Computer Services. The model was stitched on 14 count Ada using two strands of DMC floss. Frame stock is Presto number 551 from Gallery 2 in Pigeon Forge. Okay. Nice. So that is a model picture. All right. Um, I think that's where we're going to leave this one, so I don't want to bore you too much. So until next time, guys, peace out. All right, sorry about that, guys. My battery died on me. Okay, so we were doing the Calico Crossroads. And I don't remember doing this one, so I have to show it. Um, Bun Warmer is the name of this one. This one's really cool. Let's see if it's going to focus in. It is now nighttime. I had to wait for my battery to charge. Um, again, like I said, these are all Calico Crossroads adopted by the artwork of Kathleen Kelly of Cats of Kelly. But this one's really cute. It's a cat um, sitting on a stove. Of course, it's a toaster and some canisters and a clock and a microwave. And, but there's that one. And we have vaccinations. Vaccinating. I'm sorry. Vaccinating. The cat sitting next to a fax machine. Believe it or not, our, our office actually still has a fax machine. Who does that anymore except through the computer faxing? Anyway, so there's that. He's pushing the keys. It's kind of cute. Next, we have hole in one for the golfer. Kind of self explanatory. He's pawing at the hole. And of course, all of her signatures, it's got the title at the bottom. You can stitch that in so you'll know what it is on every single one of these. And then it's got the paw print. Those are also included on the pattern. The next one we have is a Christmas one called Silent Night. This one has a little bit more color in it. Of course, you know, the cat, it's actually laying in the manger. The nativity scene box. And they're unwrapping it and trying to get it set up in the tree. And the cat's trying to help. You know how that is. If you have a cat, you know what it's like trying to put your tree up at Christmas time with a cat. Here's another Christmas one saying, where's mine? And it's the cat ripping open presents, trying to get it open. Of course, they put color just at the right places for the accents. It's really cool. Um, let's see. This is not a cat one, but it is the Crossroad, Calico Crossroads. Um, this one is called... Freezing season. Freezing season. Seasonal paperweight. Um, this is. They're showing it as a pin cushion, but um, they also suggest it as a paperweight. Um, it uses Mill Hill glass beads. Um, very pretty around the holly. And then I, I can't show you any more than just this because the back of it is it's the actual pattern. But um, um, design on this one. It does not say who the artist is on this one. It's kind of surprising. All right, all right. So back to the kitties. Sorry, I had to show that one. Um, this is a complete kit. This one's called Wash Day Blues. And of course, there's the laundry basket and the cat digging. I, I've been through all these with my cats over the years. Bleach, soap, whatever. And then, yeah, playing in the laundry. I've gone through all these scenarios at one time or another, except for this one. Water, water break. <laughs> of course.
course you know what the cat's doing. I'm taking a water break over the commode. Um, I'm guessing that's a plant hanging down. Can't really tell what that is, but that's kind of cute. But that's the that's the commode. Mine likes to play in the sink. It's a complete kit. And this is a complete kit. And this is called Made It. Now, if you can't notice where the cat is, sorry, the price sticker's on there. I got it on clearance. The cat is right up in here in the plant. So apparently it jumped from here to here, but that's all you see. And then, of course, here's a little, few little leaves falling down from where the, the cat actually jumped up in the plant. I can't have life plants in my house because my cat wants to dig in them. Uh, another complete kit <clears throat> called Office Monitor. The cat is sitting on top of the monitor. There's some greenery. Uh, the computer. It looks like that's a fax machine over there. Like that. Now I am going to do all of these. I, I really want to do all these and put them up in my craft room because I think they'd be really cute. Um, Perma Press is what this is called. Cat laying on the ironing board with the iron and a bit of color on the handle and on the crossbow, cross, crossways of the, um, the ironing board. But that, that's it for uh, Calico Crossroads, and I'm going to leave you with that, and we will continue our stash at another time. Peace out. Have a great stitchy day. Bye, guys.